moments as we hear from her now with Brett Phillips. Well, Angie, welcome back to uh, Melbourne. This is where it all started back in 2016, winning your maiden title. So always great memories, I imagine, every time you step out onto Rod Laver Arena. Yeah, I mean, I have to say it's a really special court, special place for me. I mean, everything starts here three years ago where I won my first Grand Slam. And um, yeah, every time I walk on this court, um, I have the best memories and such a great feeling. So I really enjoy to play here on this really special court. And since we saw you here last year, equally as good a memories winning your first ever Wimbledon title in a really special year where you rose back to the top two in women's tennis after a tough 2017. Your last 12 months have been superb. Yeah, I mean, especially after 2017, coming back and winning my third major and uh, winning in Wimbledon, it was, uh, yeah, one of the best feelings to really coming back strong. And, um, you know, we have now 2019 and I try to, yeah, continue how I played last year, enjoying every moment on and off court. And it's always great to hear all the fans cheering for you during the practice sessions, uh, during the matches. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. You've got a lot of fans here, no doubt. So what do you... What do you look at in a new tennis year when you've had such a good year last year? I mean, for tennis players, it's always that sort of incremental improvement. Is there anything in particular you tried to focus on heading into another tennis season? You know, I'm always focusing to, yeah, doing a lot of uh, fitness stuff off court, trying to improving my tennis as well. And, you know, trying to enjoying every moment, um, having the emotions on court, um, winning matches. I think this is, that's the moments for what we are practicing um, really hard every single day. All right, we'll let you get out of the sun. Well done. Good to have you back. Thank you, guys. Thank you. There's a certain symmetry about all of that. 36 minutes for the first set, 36 minutes for the second set. 6-2 in the first set, 6-2 in the second set. And Angie just explaining and confirming that this place does hold a special place in her heart. And when you can produce a performance like she did, that 2016 win, that was epic, that final. It certainly was. It was a good one, wasn't it? It's her maiden major title that she's won in regards to Grand Slam. So. Like you said, good memories for Angie here, and she can. By the time that final came around in 2016, she was at her best and was down match points early in that tournament. But sometimes that can happen. But today was certainly the better player against Polona Herskog.